what is intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors. The semiconductor is divided into two types, intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor. The pure form of the semiconductor is known as the intrinsic semiconductor and the semiconductor in which intentionally impurities are added to make it conductive is known as the extrinsic semiconductor. In short, intrinsic is pure, extrinsic is impure. The conductivity of the intrinsic semiconductor becomes zero at room temperature while the extrinsic semiconductor is very little conductive at room temperature. The detailed explanation of the two types of the semiconductor as follows. Intrinsic semiconductor An extremely pure semiconductor is called as intrinsic semiconductor. On the basis of the energy band phenomenon, an intrinsic semiconductor at absolute zero temperature can be seen here. Its valence band is completely filled and the conduction band is completely empty. When the temperature is raised and some heat energy is applied to it, some of the valence electrons are lifted to conduction band leaving behind holes in the valence band. The electrons reaching at the conductive band move randomly. The holes created in the crystal are free to move anywhere. This behavior of the semiconductor shows that they have a negative temperature coefficient of resistance. This means that with the increase in temperature, the resistivity of the material decreases and the conductivity increases. Extrinsic or doping semiconductor a semiconductor to which an impurity at controlled rate is added to make it conductive is known as a extrinsic semiconductor. An intrinsic semiconductor is capsule, is capable to conduct a little current even at room temperature, but it is not useful for the preparation of various electronic devices. Thus, to make it conductive, a small amount of suitable impurity is added to the material. The process by which an impurity is added to the semiconductor is known as doping. The amount and type of impurity which is to be added to the material has to be closely controlled during the preparation of the extrinsic semiconductor. Generally, one impurity atom is added to 108 atoms of a semiconductor. The purpose of adding impurity in the semiconductor crystal is to increase the number of free electrons or holes to make it conductive. If a pentavalent impurity having 5 valence electrons is added to a pure semiconductor, a large number of free electrons can exist. If a trivalent impurity having 3 valence electrons is added, a large number of holes will exist in the semiconductor. Depending upon the type of impurity added to the extrinsic semiconductor may be classified as N-type semiconductor and P-type semiconductor. 